Hi, Russian learners. Aksana here. Welcome to my channel. So today, uh, for our Russian studies, I wanted to make like this fun video, which I think will be interesting to you. And uh, I wanted to tell you about how uh, English names uh, spelled uh, in Russian, how they are pronounced. I thought it will be cool for some of you who are um, uh, from um English-speaking countries and you have an English name, it will be always cool to find out how that name, how your name sounds in Russian. I think it is always very interesting whenever you are learning a foreign language to know how your name is uh, spelled and pronounced in that language. And I wanted, I want to make a series of these videos, um, taking names from other countries as well and translating them to Russian and showing you how they're spelled and pronounced. So don't forget to give your thumbs up to this video so I'll know that this video is um, interesting to you. And of course, if uh, your name will not be uh, talked about in this video, uh, please write that write it in the commentary section down below and I will definitely talk about uh, them this uh, other names in my further videos so today let's start with some of the most popular English names and look how they are spelled and pronounced in Russian I will take 10 uh, male uh, names and 10 female names and um, show you how they are translated. So let's first with the, let's start with the first one, which is um, this one, meaning James. So the thing you have to know is that when we are translating a word or like other um, name, uh, like, like a, when we're translating a name or like um, any other notion, um, such as personal uh, name, we don't uh, translate every letter. We don't uh, try translate. We don't uh, use transliteration. Other than we are say we're trying to recreate how this uh, name sounds in English with Russian uh, uh, letters. So we're just talking about the way uh, the. Um, name is pronounced uh, in its original language and trying to recreate this in Russian by using Russian um, uh, sounds and letters. So James, it is pronounced James and we have to recreate this uh, sound in, in Russian. So of course we don't have the um, sound J in Russian and uh, this uh, letter J is always um, translated uh, in Russian as two letters which is the J, the J. And next it will be easier, which is like this, James, the James. So A sound is uh, written as ye, I, ye, I. So uh, these uh, two letters, uh, first two letters of the name are uh, translated into Russian by using uh, two letters for each. So James, J, D, J, A, ye, I. So James uh, in Russian will be... Uh, translated as James, James. So it is more like roughly sounding. It is softer in English, but we don't have that sound in Russian and we're saying it more like um, harder, James, James. Next, let's take a female name, which is Mary, Mary. It is uh, easier in Russian, it will be Mary, Mary. Me, Mary. So uh, listen to my pronunciation both in English and in Russian. Try to spot the differences. Mary and in Russian Mary. Mary. So uh, the sounds have to be more straightforward without any like altercations. Just straight uh, uh, sounds. Mary. 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 Next, let's take another uh, ma uh, male uh, name which is Michael. Again, we're talking about only the sound of it, Michael, Michael. So um, the sounds are pretty um, easy. They have, we have this equivalence in Russian, so the translation is quite literal. It will be my call, Michael. I'm sorry if you haven't, don't understand this R letter. Michael, 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 Michael. Michael. So, pretty the same, uh, sounding the same. Next, uh, let's take a female name now, which is Jennifer. 
Jennifer. Again, we see a J here, the first letter, and we already know that J is translated to Russian using two letters, the Z. Next, it will be pretty much the same. So, we have corresponding letters, corresponding sounds in Russian, so the translation of this name is pretty easy. Jennifer, 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 Jennifer. So, we have, uh, like, uh, you know that in Russian, um, basically, every word, that is, every letter that is written in the word has to be pronounced. So, every letter here is to be pronounced. Jennifer. So, in English, we don't, like... Um, pronounce the uh, last R sound, but in Russian it has to be pronounced following Russian uh, language rules. Jennifer. So Jennifer and Jennifer. Jennifer. So that's it. Uh, next, uh, let's take uh, another male name, which is quite easy to translate in Russian, which is David. David. And uh, you can translate it in Russian like this. There are actually two ways of spelling this name. It can be either David uh, using the ye vowel in the first syllable, or you can use oh sorry, or you can use the e vowel, and it will not be in any mistake. In, in mistakes. So uh, if you are uh, r um, reading like. English uh, books translated in Russian, and there is a character named David. Uh, there is always like uh, some examples where this um, name is translated as David with a uh, year, or it is translated as David with a. So there is no like super strict rule, I think, how this name has to be translated. Just know that it will be totally okay if you use uh, either of these uh, variations. So David, David. Or David, uh, like um, on the in the, pronun on the pronunciation uh, part, there is uh, you cannot spot any difference with uh, two with these two examples. It will it is pronounced basically the same, but there is uh, like these two differences in spelling. So take notice of that, please. Next, we have uh, this um, female name, which is Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Let's translate it into Russian. It is this Elizabeth. Elizabeth. So uh, the th sound, uh, letter combination, which is pronounced as th in English, it doesn't exist in Russian. So we because we don't have like this um, sounds and. Um, the soft like uh, sounds, and we have to um, we always uh, substitute it either with the or in other uh, names, which I'll talk later about. Uh, this uh, th sound can be substituted with the consonant f. So either t or f, but um, with uh, Elizabeth in this case, it is a set uh, way of spelling this uh, name. It is Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Take notice that bet pronounced like with an a sound, but it is always uh, written with uh, a ye vowel. So that is the way of uh, spelling this uh, female name in Russian, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Let's, next, let's take another male name, which is John. John. It is super, super easy. You just know that. G sound is translated as the J, and uh, if we are listening to pronunciation John, the only thing we are left with is on. So that's it, John, 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 John. So the only difference is with the J sound, which has to be uh, the J in the Russian, John, John. Uh, next, let's take another female name which is Susan, 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 and in Russian it will be S -u -zan. So I tried to recreate this pronunciation in Russian and it is pretty easy. Susan, Susan, like Susan and Susan. So using the soft sign. Susan, Susan. That is also a set way of spelling this uh, female name. 
Next, let's take an easy one. Robert. So, Robert, we have um, this is uh, this name is pretty much a um, very commonly used in Russian as well. So that is uh, spelled as uh, Robert. Robert, uh, and this name is commonly used in Russian. You can meet a lot of people named Robert in Russia, so that is not like a very hard uh, thing to uh, remember. Robert and Robert. Robert. So basically, we like uh, translated transliterated the uh, name into Russian using the same corresponding uh, consonants. Robert, Robert, and Robert. Uh, next, let's take this name. Jessica. 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 It uh, will be... Uh, you can guess the J will be... Um, translated as the J sound and then we follow with uh, the corresponding letters J C K Jessica Jessica and Jessica the Jessica so make sure that you pronounce this uh, uh, consonant combination um, correctly the Jessica the Jessica Jessica so Jessica and the uh, Jessica Jessica so that is the only difficulty, I think, with pronouncing it in the way Russians do. Uh, next, let's take uh, this one. William. William. And there are two uh, ways of uh, translating this name, William. We don't like have uh, this W sound in Russian, so we have other uh, two ways of um showing this sound with a Russian letter. So you can either write it like this using the U-E combination to make this sound we, we, we. You either write U-E, William or you can also say William, William using the V-E combination, William to make we sound. So, um, I wanted to say that William is more commonly used way of uh, spelling the William name, but in some um, lit or words of works of literary works, you can uh, also see this way of spelling the William name, but it is uh, much more rarely than William. So, William is more popular. William, 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 William. So, that's it. Uh, next, let's take this name, which is Sarah. Sarah, and it is uh, translated into Russian as Sara. Sarah, Sara. Sara, again, is a name uh, pretty much known to Russians. Uh, there are um, a lot of people named Sara in Russian as well, so this name is not really uh, for, um, foreign uh, sounding to us, and that's why there's this uh, set a way of spelling it. Sarah meaning Sara. Uh, next, let's take another pretty much very popular English name, which is Charles, 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 and C uh, H sound. Uh, chi sound in English, which has to be um, sp spelled with two uh, consonants, has a one letter equiv equivalent in Russian, which is Ch. And next we follow with these letters, which are Charles. Charles. We're using the soft sign here after L. Charles. Charles. So just it is just to make the pronunciation easier. That's why the uh, soft sign is used here because without it, Charles, it's kind of hard to pronounce. So um, we use the soft sign here. So Charles and Charles in Russian. That is a very common way of spelling this name. It it is like um, always uh, written like that. Next, we have another name which is Ashley. Ashley, uh, again, uh, we are translating is it as a e. s h uh, consonants uh, making the sh sound has a Russian equivalent, which is the letter sh, and then we have e. Ashley, 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 Ashley. So pretty easy, I think. Uh, next, we have um, Stephen. 
Steven, Steven. I think you can guess that it is a very easy way of spelling. Steven. So basically, like you hear, you write what you hear. Steven, 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 Steven. Pretty easy. Uh, next, we have Emily. This one is easy as well. E -mi -li. So just trying to um, um, like uh, show the sounds with uh, letters. Emily, Emily. Pretty easy. I think it sounds the same. Next we have Matthew. So I told you that the th sound doesn't exist in Russian and we use the th uh, letter to show this sound in Russian. So this name will be translated to Russian like this. Matthew, 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 Matthew. That's how it's written in Russian. Let us uh, go to another page and continue. We have only three uh, names left. So another name is Nicole. Nicole. It is uh, Nicole in Russian. So Nicole, there is no like soft sign in English pronunciation, but in Russian we have to use the soft sign in the end and making this name as Nicole. 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 That is a set way. It is um, a rule to translate this name Nicole in Russian as Nicole. So you have to remember if you are named Nicole, so uh, please know that that is how your name sounds in Russian and how it is spelled. Next one we have Christopher. Christopher, again, the PH uh, combination here gives the sound F. And in Russian we have the letter that gives this sound F, so we'll be using that. And the whole name will be sounding as Christopher in Russian. Christopher. Christopher, Christopher. Again, the uh, R at the end has to be pronounced as full R in the end in Russian uh, equivalent. That is our rule. Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. And the last name for today will be this one, Stephanie. Stephanie, again, we see the PH combination here, which will be uh, translated using the F uh, consonant. And this uh, name in Russian will be spelled like this, Stephanie, Stephanie. Um, and that's how it is spelled. So Stephanie, Stephanie. So that's it for n English names for today. I hope I didn't overwhelm you a lot. And um, if uh, I didn't mention your name today, please don't be shy and write them uh, down. Write it down in the commentary section and uh, ask for um, me making a video about it. I will definitely do that. And I just think that it will be a fun and interesting video to learn about how your name will sound in Russian. I, as I said, I will make a, um, names from other, make names, uh, video about names from other countries as well. So thank you for watching. I, uh, hope your studies are your Russian studies are going um, great. So uh, also please stay safe and um, don't forget to uh, give this video a thumbs up and to uh, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!